Hello, welcome back to Erica's Welsh Garden. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we are going to be cleaning out one of the used nest boxes that I've got in my garden. This um, bird box was actually put up last year and did have a family of ticks living in it and they moved out kind of in the autumn time. Their little fledglings flew off, never to be seen again. And um, I totally forgot about it. And yesterday I was watching a video on YouTube on Dave's, um, Dave's allotment channel and he was building a bird box and then I suddenly remembered that I hadn't actually cleaned this bird box out. I actually got this bird box a couple of years ago from the RSPB. I think that my family uh, for Mother's Day got me a year subscription and this was like a little free present with it um, and that was like so exciting and um, I really kind of got interested for the first time in my life in birds but then we didn't actually put it up until last year. So we were so pleased that we managed to get a little family living in it. And then I thought, oh, well, I need to clean it out at some stage, but I just totally forgot about it until yesterday. On the RSPB website, it does state that you should start thinking about removing or cleaning out the used nest boxes from September onwards um, to kind of the late January period. And the only reason that I'm actually doing this is because I know that we had a family of um, tits in the nest box last year. And when I was having a look last night, it did say that they have up to 14 um, 14 eggs and quite often a lot of them don't survive and I know when we were kind of watching them last year there was only about four or five chicks so there could be um, festering away so it's quite important that we do actually um, clean it out now um, I know for myself you know I like the idea of helping nature putting these bird boxes up and bird feeders and everything like that and feeding them but it's really important that if we do that we actually look after them properly because we could be doing more harm than good if we just leave them there. To get this nest box cleaned out and ready to go back up on that shed wall, what I'm going to be doing today is just removing the two screws either side of here, taking out last year's nest and then I'm going to be sterilising it. To sterilise it all I'm going to do is put it in a big bucket, fill it with boiling water just to kill off any parasites or kind of bacteria left over by last year's birds and then leave it to dry maybe for about a week or so or a couple of days inside the house. Once that's done we can put it back up and hopefully we'll get a little family of birds coming back to join it in springtime. So the screws are out now, let's open it and have a look and see what is in it from last year. Wow, look at this. This is the remainder of the nest. Now, I'm so glad that I've cleaned this out today because it's absolutely soaking wet. Um, but what I'm so pleased about is there's no kind of shells there, any remains of any shells, and there's not any remainders of any birds. So it looks like all of them survived the nest and we, we didn't see any on the floor or anything. So hopefully all of last year's fledglings made it from the nest how exciting is that but this is soaking wet and also um, the nest box here is soaking wet as well so I'm gonna have a look and see if um, I can maybe move it to underneath the eaves I know with um, some birds and I'm not sure with um, tits if they always come back to the same nesting box every single year to have their their babies so I'll have a quick look online because when we when we put that up on that side last year um, we, we thought it was the best place to put it but maybe um, in a little bit more shelter would be a good idea because this is so wet but how exciting is that the nesting box is all cleaned out now ready to be sterilized and I've got the screws and um, from the side of it which I'm going to put in my pocket now because I'm totally going to forget where I've put them in a couple of days. Um, but before we go in and do that, I just wanted to say I've taken the advice from the RSPB's website um, in everything that I'm doing today. However, I'm not affiliated with them any way whatsoever. So please do your research first. Um, depending on where you are in the world, you will have different laws and regulations um, relating to going anywhere near a nest box. So please do your research first. I will put a link to the RSPB's website down below if you're in the UK it's really worth having a look at but please you know do your research first because conservation is so important and sometimes we could actually be doing more harm than good
it's been a couple of days now since I washed and cleaned out the nesting box. As you can see, it's lovely and clean on the inside and it's dried out now. I had mentioned at the very beginning of this video that I was planning on, on as soon as it was like dried, putting it back out either on the um, edge of the shed where it was sited before or moving it to underneath the eaves. But I have decided that we're gonna keep it on the end of the shed because last year we really enjoyed um, watching the mum go in and out and hearing the chirping of the chicks from a really safe distance. Whereas I think if we move it to underneath the eaves here, we go in and out the shed all the time and we don't want to, you know, no matter what, disturb that mum in case she abandons the nest or something like that. So it's definitely gonna stay on the very end of the shed, which means it's gonna continue to get completely battered um, by the wind and rain so what i've decided to do is i'm going to buy myself some water-based exterior varnish and i'm going to varnish the um the the bird box so hopefully it will preserve it for a good couple of years and it means if we do have a really wet summer that it will hopefully keep the inside of this bird box um dry i've also got some other bird boxes that i'm going to put up as well so this will be going up at a later date and just in case you're also thinking about varnishing your bird boxes you just need to make sure it's a water-based varnish or paint and that you don't paint on the inside of the circle here and you don't put any um, varnish or paint on the inside it just needs to go on the exterior if you're interested though in having a go at making your own bird box i was so inspired by by, um, Dave from Dave's allotment video where he built a um, bird box out of scrap wood so I'm gonna put a link to that video down below and I'll also link to his channel so if you're not familiar with him please do go and check him out because he's got some really good videos there so um, I think I'm gonna leave the video here because as you can probably hear it's really windy and stormy and that's probably a good idea I mean not going up a ladder today because the wind will probably blow me off uh, but anyway thank you so much for watching today if this is the first time you're watching one of my videos please do hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you're notified of all of my latest videos as ever youtube have some videos up on the screen now that they think you're like so please go ahead and watch those and i will catch up with you in the next episode bye